Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just got back from visiting my brother and his family up in Minnesota, uh, and I hadn't had a chance to really record anything beforehand. So I wanted the very first thing I want to do when I got back was talk about the new uh, additions to the ban list and the errata list for Dragon Ball Super. Uh, definitely did not expect this list. Um, my brother and I were both very surprised when we saw it, but uh, we're going to go over uh, my thoughts and opinions on it. Okay, first on that ban list is SS Trunks God Sealing Technique. Um, it's officially banned um, after being around for almost 10 sets now. Um, my personal opinion, I think this is a stupid, uh, stupid addition to the ban list. But at the same time, I can also understand why. Um, reason I think it's stupid is because this card is solely is played for free solely if you have a unison on the board uh, with two or more markers on it. Uh, during nationals, I actually ran two copies of this on my sideboard, and every time I would side them in, I never got to play them because my opponent would always have Black Smoke Dragon to get rid of my uh, unison. So I think it's very difficult to play this card. And the only reason it was really any good is because it hit big boss monsters that didn't have deflect. Um, it was one of the only... I can't think of too many other like counterplay uh, cards that like KO or battle or, or bounce things back. Um, I know Vegeta got um, errata to only work with Vegito. Uh, we do have Charismatic Villain. Uh, but I guess Blue doesn't have one anymore. Um, so that's why I think it's dumb. But on, you know, something I can agree with, though, is that while I was playing against another blue player, they would pop this card down when I was playing off my Gohan SCR or any of my big boss monsters that didn't have Barrett because I was running Blue Gamma. Um, that sucked. Um, but it's, it, I'm, in the, I'm feeling mixed on this one. I definitely think that it didn't need the hit. If anything, it could have just been limited to one. I mean, how often do they do that with yellow cards? But, you know, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling mixed on Trunks. Next up on this list is SS4 Son Goku Digging Deep. Essentially, uh, go SS4 Boy's uh, Free Sensu Bean. Uh, I'm getting that 5k buff for the turn. I think this is one of the better cards in that deck, for sure. But I also feel like it was not the most ideal thing uh, they could have hit. And their reasoning was because they understand that the Gogeta and Sin are the two most played decks for red right now, and some of the most played decks in the format, period. And they wanted to bring them down a notch by banning one card each. I feel like this is not the best thing they could have done. Uh, yes, I definitely think this card should have been... Is, is a problem, and I could... I'm not mad that it got hit. But I also feel like they could have done a bit more. Um, personally, I would have done something with the uh, uh, Pot of Greed cards they run the deck, like the uh, SS4 Goku and Vegeta, um, Prepping to Battle. I think that's the names. Uh, they could have a lot, uh, errata those or limited those to one per deck. Uh, errata them to, like uh, Crossworld said, was uh, that they couldn't draw you a card on play. They could only draw you a card when you combo with them. Um, but I still think this... Didn't impact uh, Gogeta all that much. In fact, I still think Gogeta is going to be uh, played quite a bit. In fact, probably more so than Sin now uh, with the recent hit to Sin. But who knows? We'll have to find out. They're taking away defensive options for Gogeta, which is good. But the fact that the deck draws so much, it still has way too much defenses in the form of combo power. So we'll just have to see how this one goes. Now, Hayes Shenron Gathering Evil. This card was hit, and I think this is the best hit on the entire ban list. Um, this card was absolutely insane. Um, it allows you to draw, search for a ball, draw a card, and then give your opponent, uh, give your battle card a crit. Essentially for free. You can play it from the board, or you can play it from your hand. Dumbest thing. The, the fact that this is now banned now makes it so those early hits that Gogeta would sorry, Sin would swing in, um, no longer go to the drop, they go to your hand, which then gives you a better op opportunity to defend. That was always the worst thing, was like playing Sin, the four drop Sin on turn two, swinging like 30k double strike crit. 
there's no way you're going to be able to stop that unless you drop your entire hand, and that would have just been awful. Um, and now the fact that they don't have as much Dragon Ball searchers, they have to take more time now to search for the Dragon Balls if they don't draw too many in their opening hand. Um, I think this was a solid addition to the ban list. Um, I really do wish, though, they had a Rada the Sin Z leader to require you to pay like one, uh, just one energy on top of all that Z energy, just because it's one of the few Z leaders that doesn't have a, uh, one of the very few Z leaders that doesn't have an energy requirement. But overall, this is a great hit. I think that this, this is definitely going to hit Sin pretty hard. And I look forward to that. Sin need, Sin was way overtuned. And this is definitely going to help it a bit. By how much? We'll have to find out in the upcoming uh, competitive circuit. All right, and we have one addition to the Irata list as well. That being uh, SSG, ugh, SSG Son Goku Crimson Warrior. Um, I kind of expected this to happen just because how well it did in uh, uh, North American Nationals um, and doing so well in other big nationals worldwide. Um, I, for one, did not expect this leader to put out the uh, the numbers that it did. Um, I really enjoyed playing this leader after they nerfed uh, Soul Striker. Rest in peace. Um, but I really... This is really not even that big of a hit. Um, DBS Dex hasn't updated their uh, website yet, but essentially, before, you had two different awakening conditions. One was if your life is at two or less, or you place five Saiyan cards under this card from your drop area, you may draw three cards, switch your energy to active, and flip this over. So you essentially, in theory, could awaken at eight life. Doesn't really happen all that much. Uh, the new uh, errata text is when your life is at four or less, and you place five Saiyan cards from under your drop area, uh, sorry, from, from your drop area under this leader. So there's no more early awakening. It's just the one, uh, one way to awaken now. But really, it doesn't really impact the leader because most people don't want to awaken so early because then their super combos aren't live it, it just yeah i feel like this is not it got hit because of how good it did i think it's kind of stupid that you know other leaders you know didn't get hit uh, this leader has been around for since set 16 so a, de a little a decent bit and it just now got hit because of how well it did. Um, true, they now that they print any blue Saiyans, it can just be used to pump up this deck, and that's really neat. Um, and it's crazy how like most decks nowadays want to awaken at two life, but they keep taking away blue's ability to do that. I think really only one blue leader I can think of, maybe two, that can awaken early. Um, it's just, it doesn't make sense to me. I feel like this errata was kind of pointless, but they ha felt like they had to do something because of how well the deck was doing. Uh, but I really don't see that changing this deck at all. But we have to find out, uh, you know, in the uh, upcoming competitive circuit. But overall, I think the ban list is okay. Um, I think banning Trunks... Uh, I can see both sides of the argument with Trunks. And Sin was... Uh, hey, Shadow was a good ban... Uh, SS4 Goku, okay, could have been other options, um, and then this Goku Arata just is kind of pointless in my opinion, but, um, I'm like, super excited to see what this does to the upcoming format, of course we've got set 20 around the corner in the next two months, but, uh, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for checking out this video and hearing my opinions on this, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll see you on the next video, take care.